I've been in this house as long as I can remember. It's warm in the winter, cool in the summer. The gardens are perfect and the people who live here love me. But today I'm opening that door, the old one at the back of the house, with rusty hinges. And through the fracture, I'm peeking at the wonders of the world for the first time through wide eyes. I can see it in the distance and I'm plowing on through the thick overgrowth trying to avoid already trodden paths. But there are voices suggesting I'm going the wrong way. I whisper that I'm fine and they get louder and they're not suggestions, they're demands. And I'm running now and the voices are screaming and the night is coming and the darkness but I know dark doesn't exist that it's only the absence of light so I'm reaching out gathering all the light and holding it close and the voices are winds and they howl in my ears and their cold is numbing my senses the mist is distorting my view arising from the mist mirrors but I can hardly see some of my image reflecting back. I'm looking down and I see strings shooting out of my chest and wrapping round him and her and them and it and running forward they tug and each tug hurts and they tangle. I'm trying to cut myself free but nothing is sharp enough and I can see that house all that way back and I can smell its smell and I can feel its cotton wrapping around me but my rewind button's gone and I don't want comfort because comfort will never be enough I want so much more I want that thing hanging there in the distance so high seemingly forever out of reach and from the very center of my body come these winds and I can feel them open my chest and burst out of me and I can hear a loud howl louder than the ones before and I realize it's me it's my own voice and I'm close